Yo, what is up guys, and welcome back to McAdies Entertainment. I'm your host as always, Adam McGahey. Before we hop into this video, be sure to smash that like button, subscribe to the channel, and hit that bell icon to get notified for all our latest videos. Thank you so much for your contribution, for it really helps the channel out. Alright, let's hop right into this. Now according to an article published today on July 4th by ScreenRant.com, there are some interesting new details that have been unveiled on the identity of the mysterious and creepy cult-like crowd that filled the arena stands on Exegol during Star Wars The Rise of Skywalker. I honestly found every scene on Exegol during this movie quite fascinating, and to get some more details on this creepy crowd is quite exciting. According to the article, it explains that the Rise of Skywalker novelization and visual dictionary names them as the Sith Eternal, and they are described as a faction that is dedicated to bringing about a new empire. As he fell down the reactor shaft on the second Death Star during Return of the Jedi, Palpatine transferred his consciousness to a clone body on Exegol. However, it quickly became apparent to him and the Sith Eternal that clones could not sustain him for long, for their bodies eventually decayed beyond usefulness. The cultists continued to experiment, hoping to find the right formula to fully restore their leader. One of the clones managed to survive, but could not wield the Force. Instead, Darth Sidious used him to continue his bloodline, and the clone eventually married a woman and fathered Rey. Perhaps knowing that without a body, he could not rule the First Order, and his plan was not yet ready for him to reveal his survival, so Sidious ordered the Sith Eternal to create Supreme Leader Snoke. And one of Snoke's goals was to prepare Kylo Ren to rule the Sith, testing his commitment to the dark side. But after Rey became a Jedi, since the cultists failed to give him a proper body, the Emperor decided that she would be his perfect heir. Once Rey arrived at Exegol, he gathered the cultists together to perform an evil ritual that would turn her to the dark side and give her the throne of the Sith. Now in the end, Rey channeled the spirits of all the Jedi and destroyed Darth Sidious. The ensuing explosion of force energy killed the Emperor and wiped out all of the cultists in the room. Now Palpatine and the cultists may have been defeated for now, but who knows for how long? There are some interesting theories going around the internet that Palpatine actually allowed himself to be killed by Rey and is actually lying dormant inside of her body, waiting for the right time to strike. For one thing is right about Palpatine, he certainly knows how to play the long waiting game. From his time in the Senate, plotting the Clone Wars and overthrowing the Jedi, to playing the Puppet Master in the shadows of the sequel trilogy, the Dark Lord certainly knows how to plan ahead. And who knows how many more cultists there may be out there in the universe. They could be on other planets, and who knows? There could be more clone bodies of Sidious just waiting to be possessed by the restless spirit of the Dark Lord. What do you think of the Sith Eternal? Would you like to see them fleshed out more in future Star Wars content? Would you like to see Palpatine return again? Let me know in those comments below. Also, be sure to hit that like button, subscribe, and tap that bell icon for it really helps the channel out. This has been Adam McGahey with McGahey's Entertainment. Thank you so much for watching, God bless, and I'll see you in the next one.